Mary, it's so good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. When you get a chance, look up Soul Liberation Day, December 7th. Oh, that's right around the corner. The transformation. Bless up. Bless up. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Talik says, can you send a shout out to my platform, the Realities Temple on on Earth Internet Ministry. Our theme this year is After Purge Comes the Heal. Sub, shout out to your platform, Talik. All the best to you guys with continuing to stretch in perspective, to stretch in what is possible, and to continue to bring healing into the space of yourself and others. Yes. In the name of my ancestors, Peace forever and always. You couldn't be so. You couldn't be so. You couldn't be so. You couldn't be so. But why I gotta be like these other folks? I don't wanna be like them. Right. Because to me, that to me, that's an insult to my intelligence. That should be an insult to your intelligence. Hell, hell. You even got white people who don't want to be like their ancestors. Right, exactly. <clears throat> this is this is your time. It's just like you love your mother and father, but if we go to your house, your house ain't nothing like your mother and father, because you got your own idea of how you you know run things and what you do. You know, you you wear your clothes different differently than your mother, your talk. Everything about you is different from your mother, your parent. Because mm -hmm. your time period is different. Right. But these pro-blacks and all these folks, they want us to go and and be some stuff that we never was. And, and, and you talk, you got even some people talking about they trying to be like Martin Luther King. So, so let me ask you this. As bad as it is now compared to what it was when he was around, do you really want police's uh spraying uh fire I uh, mean fire holes on you, sicking dogs on you and stuff like that? Or oh, as well as shooting you? <laughs> Is that what you want? Because that's what you're gonna get trying to be do what he was doing. Exactly. <laughs> and they will do it. They will do it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you're supposed to have the, the right to, to nonviolent protest in this country, they they, they, but they, they don't respect no, that. They, they still will greet you with violence. Exactly. <laughs> and they really don't give a damn what your skin color is. No, they, they don't. don't. You see, just like that, that what's his name? That, that damn, the young white boy that got away with shooting uh, that white protest in Wisconsin a couple of years ago. Oh, he, yeah. He got off. Yeah, he got off. Rittenhouse or whatever yeah, he, the hell his off. last name was. Yeah, it, that was a white person he killed. And he still got, he got off. off. <laughs> like you say, skin. There's a lot of stains that uh, trans, transcends skin color, you yeah. know, in this world, you know. And, and, and check this out. Like I said, a lot of people going back to what you were talking about with the Irish. Mm -hmm. If the Irish and the blacks would have stuck the, stuck it out through that period of time during the Shea Rebellion, and and, and, and uh, you know because what they all they was doing to separate the Irish from us was telling them, look, you not black. Why the fuck, why is you worried about this? You white. <laughs> that's that's how that's like you say that Irish dude told you. That's how they sold black slaves out. Mm -hmm. Once the, the powers of the establishment told them, look, you white. That's all they needed to say to them. You see what I'm saying? But had they had they been the type that of humans that ignored that and said, you know what? I don't give a damn. I'm still going to be, we going to still stick with the black slave. Things, ain't no telling how things would have been different in this country right now because of that. Because and that's why they do shit today. Excuse my yeah. friends. That's why they do stuff today because they know that that could possibly happen again. Exactly. They know that that could possibly happen again. Bunch of whites and as well as blacks coming together against the establishment. They know that that could happen. 
That's why they throwing all this bull crap in. That's why they even allowed Trump to get elected as president. All that wasn't nothing but to set off that. <laughs> to set to set people off from that reality. You see what I'm saying? But that's what, what that that was what that was all about. You know, because they knew, they know eventually, especially the way with these corporations and the way that they control in this world. When people get tired of they BS, you you not gonna even listen. Skin color ain't gonna even be the thing to be talked about. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead, brother. I I just wanted to throw that in there. Yeah, but they they sold out because I mean, <clears throat> the Irish sold out because they got tired of the suffering. You know, they got a deal. Uh, they, they gave yeah. them land and and, and they got mm -hmm. white privilege and you know they it was it was. You know what they say was an offer they couldn't refuse. Yeah, and that's what they've done. Yeah, you know, but you know, you can get angry at people or whatever, and you and I have both been in the, in, the, in the injustice system. Oh yeah, oh definitely, oh and definitely. You know, you know, people people will will, will, will snitch and rat you out so they can make things yeah. easy on themselves. Oh. And another thing about that justice system, too, I'm going to tell you, even though it is more of us incarcerated still in this country, but that's, if you look at the situation now with the, even their own data, they will show you how more whites in this country are getting incarcerated more than ever. Yeah. And that's mainly the poor ones or the, uh, uh, the low-income yeah. ones. But they're sending them to prison more and more. I even listen, check this out. Before I stopped getting in trouble with the law myself, I used to back in Detroit in the county jail, it was a time where you didn't see nothing but 99% blacks in there. I got I started going in there like in the early 2000s. I'm seeing more white boys in there than, than galore. Like, what the hell are all these white boys coming from? And, <laughs> and you know, in the county jail, where are all them coming from? You know what I'm saying? And, and so, you know, and it's like, wow, it's a lot of them getting locked up left and right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, they they not, you know, it's getting to the point now where they not even discriminating on that. It's like first take come. <laughs> Whoever we can make, whatever body we can make money off of incarcerating. That's how it's going to be. <laughs> you know? Shoot. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's a... Uh, especially if you ain't got no money. <laughs> you just, uh, you know, like they say, uh, backside out, you know? But uh, yeah. And, 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 that, and see, that's the thing about it. You, you, you know, we fail to realize the turning points that this country is going in. I mean, listen, man. Food prices is high. Gas prices is high. Your skin color ain't going to matter about the effects that that's having on the population in this country. Because yeah. everybody is feeling it. Even celebrities is coming out complaining about it now. Millionaire celebrities. I've seen this one celebrity named, uh, I think her name was Megan Stallion. Mm -hmm. I know you probably heard of yeah, her. Some kind of rapper. One of them. And yeah, yeah. She, I think it was, a, she even came out and spoke about how ridiculous these high proof food prices is even when she go to the supermarket and she making millions. Mm -hmm. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? This is getting real when you getting celebrities to actually speak out against this kind of stuff. That lets you know changes in this country is taking a turn to the point where anything is subject to erupting cause a situation in this country where, you know what? It's time to really learn how to survive. Yeah. If you don't, especially if you don't know how to right yeah. now. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, people, people don't understand the dynamics of what's happening. And like we say, why they're here on social media, land, BSing, <laughs> running their mouth, or like you call it, nigga babbling. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, just, just ridiculous. <laughs>
Well, on that note, I is done. We I've said all I want to say. I think that you said all that you can say. Yes, sir. And we are we gonna we're gonna get out of here. Uh, I didn't. I just noticed Brother Denzel just came into the chat room. Want to send a shout out to Brother Denzel. Yeah, shout out to Brother Denzel. Yeah, and uh, want to send a shout out. Let me see if I can think of everybody. <clears throat> Send a shout out to all our supporters. There's only 10 of us, so it should be easy to think about everybody. Okay, we got Brother Denzel. We got the Dickens of Reality, Soul Brother 85 and Twin Pyramid. We got Almond Delight. We got Sister Mellow Cap. Uh, we got Sister Ann. We got Tafari Smith, Angela Hines, Sean Davis, Brother Christopher. And also our people, our peoples over in England and Brussels. Right, uh, yeah. Just acting in the resident. We got Sister Tangie in California. Uh, we got our, our people on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, Brother Laurel Brown, I just noticed that he he just subscribed to me. I guess he lost track of me because of all that flagging and my channels got messed up. He found up again. Shout out to Brother Laurel Brown. And really, uh, slowly but surely, we're growing. Uh, I would rather have. 10 real people than 100,000 fake ass uh, entertainment lookers, whatever they want to call themselves, because they're not accomplishing nothing. This time next year, um, you ask them, what did they accomplish in the last year? Which you, If you notice, they do all this debating and all this talking and, and whatever. They never talk about what are they producing? What, do they have, what have they accomplished in the last year? They never talk about that because none of they're not accomplishing nothing. There's nothing but a big ass reality show. So the one who needs to be embarrassed is not the one with the 10 views and the 10 subscribers, the one that's embarrassing, but they're not even embarrassing because they actually have pride in what they do. They're nothing but a bunch of entertainers. And people are gonna go where they fit in because they just as fake as the channels that they support. Bunch of, right. bunch of frauds. And with that peace, everyone, I'm out of here, and I'll talk to you later, brother, on the flip. Yeah, we, we're out of here, as Don Cornelius used to always say. We wish you peace, love, and sister soul. We are already 5,000, y'all. I wanna talk to I know who the enemy is. I wanna talk You're wasting to your time making mockery of me. Oh, I'm, I'm crazy. Uh, uh, my brain is damaged. Uh, my invo poster. Uh, uh, I'm miserable in my life. All this nonsense that you're talking about. And you a slave. Black people, it's all about the unity, it's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving.